Welcome to another weekly farm update. Plus a few projects, moving the pigs, moving the guineas. There's your favorite keyhole garden bed right there, Gideon. It's jamming with lettuce. It's actually gotten so warm, it's bolted. We grab some and we put it in with the chickens. It's one reason to have chickens and gardens next to each other. You can just throw what's bad from it into them. Cucumbers, watermelon, squash, more cucumbers, pumpkin. I don't know, we didn't plant that one. Tomatoes, no more tomato hornworms. We've only had two. We've never had horn hornworms in our lives. Oh boy. Look. Tomatoes? Yeah, mama's got a tomato coming on. How's Almanzo doing? You doing all right? Really, he's trying to escape. I know. Where's Royal? Oh, on a roof, I think. This one, I want to wait until it gets really big oh, wow. and two pound fat. Oh my gosh, look how long that is, Josiah. That's well on his way to two pounds. Man, we must have gotten a long variety. These, They're ready. That one's ready. Whoa, that one's one? ready. This one's ready. That one's ready, definitely. Get that one off. Josiah, have you ever had a persimmon? What does a persimmon taste like? You know, it's really sweet. What you're gonna find out this year. Look, look, you're gonna have more persimmons than you know what to do with. Josiah, no. lure them into the stall, buddy. Oh, yeah, we we need to put them in the stall because we need to move them. This is getting stanky. I think we should just give them a little bit padded so they'll just take all that down. That grass. Right. We have, we have well, down. here's the thing. We're not going to plant any more on this side because we're going into our fall and winter garden and this is blocking the sun. Our house is blocking the sun. So we're just going to graze them for a few days until we can get them a shelter and get them on a garden job. Does that sound good? That, that, that would have a bubble on it. Yep. What do you want me to do? How about you go in there because they, they Are you scared to do this? No, it's like, I don't, I'm scared. I'm scared to just strip me and I'll fall in the Let's give it half of it right here. That got him installed just so you can shut the door. Oh look, mom's got a tomato plant in the uh, pig run. That's one thing they won't eat, it's a tomato plant. What? Let's check out our pig garden. We have a lot of this. The Japanese beetles like it. Somebody, one of you will tell me what this plant is. Sisters, three sisters. Squash, corn, 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 corn. We might get something out of that. We'll get some corn. This I'm happy about. Our cucumbers are coming up. See, this is stage one garden for the pigs. Stage two, stage three. Probably the only thing we could plant in there right now is maybe cucumbers. Look, I think it's doing good. We put the right amount of amendments. Mama just put uh, compost tea on it. I put urine on it. Look, I think they thank us, but they are struggling a little bit with bug bite. So we'll see what happens. Now, all we gotta do, fellas, is extend our lane and get them a new grass paddock there just to buy us a couple of days. That's it. Hey, you gonna let off the pigs, Lily? <laughs> oh, grab the bucket, Josiah. No. There it is, guys. Come here. Don't get eaten. You gotta always keep moving with the pigs. Piggy, piggy. They're stout. You guys have doubled. Good job. They're so heavy. They are so heavy. I don't think we can move them. They're an incredible animal. Let's roll up our handy dandy greenhouse plastic. You guys are on guard. I like that you're hanging around the greenhouse. I'm Will you water the greenhouse plants for me, big guy? Sure. Hey, do it real good. Do it once and then do it again. Today? Yeah, because they're prone to dry out. It's going to be another hot day. 
All right, just let's get these guinea. Okay, we don't want them no. to jump out. No. Let's get their water out. Feed. There we go. No. One. Whoa. Lost it. Two hands. Two hands. They're feisty. You just have to grab it on both sides. Whoa, there's two Quickly, two hands. You're lucky. Oh wow. gosh. Two hands. Right here. Oh Whoa. my. Wow, they're so fast. Two hands. Do not let them go. Ready? No, no. Papa, mama, and mama. Mama. It's okay. She's licking. Licking is good. I'll lick you. I'll lick her. Oh, you got the water and feed her. I do. I'll get it. in the I would put the whole thing in there and shut yourself in. Good day for you guys. First day on grass. Our plan is to keep the guinea in there for a long time. Some folks say eight weeks to train them that this is their home. We'll move this around, I don't know, every couple of weeks, maybe less, depending on how much they track it up in there. They're not like chickens, they don't scratch. Ten guinea. They're tick control. We're gonna let them out, let them free range. They don't do damage to the garden. No, we're leaving, come on, let's go. That was a gallon of milk. Gallon of milk, really? You know, we between drinking it, occasional yogurt, we pretty much drink a gallon of milk. So, we sort of need another cow. We were good when it was two gallons of milk. But then hopefully she got pregnant and that's why she's cut her production. So we'll just know over that. But how are you guys doing? I've noticed you, uh, your face is looking a lot slicker. You've, you've, you've shedded some of that rough coat. Look at that. And how are you doing, big boy? Are you just getting huge? You're just getting huge. Do you guys want to talk about our crop garden there? Not much to talk about. The potatoes are ready. We just have to harvest it. We're gonna have to definitely harvest them before we run the pigs and or chickens back in here. Look at that. Come on, let's go guys. Jonah's garden's coming along. I think you'll get some corn. Jonah, you got some corn out there yet? Do you have some corn out in your garden? What? Let's get them going. Well, let's see if you let any milk down. Oh, wee, that's yeah. disgusting. Yeah. yeah, he's been sucking on that. All right, come on, come on, there you go. Let's check out the chicken crop garden. They're working hard, not hard enough. We're gonna need this in four weeks. So I'm thinking I've got some ideas to put the pigs in here with them without getting them eaten. I don't think the pig will go into the chick shawl. By the way, the chick shawl's jamming. The new wheel design in the middle, this thing hasn't toppled over. The sandbox will also help from that happening. Keeps the weight in the front. Very excited about that. Where the chickens were is absolutely jamming. Can you see all the squashage and pumpkinage? Come on, Violet. She's eating that lamb's quarter. Come on, sweet thing. I'm thinking that the pigs won't go in this chick shawl. Maybe they will. We'll just have to try and see if they won't. I'm gonna make a shelter for the pigs, for them. I'm thinking the pigs, they're guinea hogs, so they're smaller. Those are adult chickens. Oh shoot, but we are getting, we are bringing over. Hey, we gotta bring over mom's chicks into here very soon. Very soon. And uh, I think they would only eat them if they were really still like maybe asleep. So if they indeed will sleep in separate places, I think we'll be all right. We've hit this recently with the cows. I want you to notice the weeds, because we mowed behind them just once, the weeds are significantly less just with one mowing. Imagine two or three mowings. That might be all we'd have to do. Oh, sweet potatoes. We got a volunteer. <laughs> That's the volunteering of stuff right there. The squash. There's another one right there. And the sweet potatoes. Oh, wow. I love it when the sweet potatoes take over. What's the deal? Tomato, squash, sweet potatoes. What's the deal, it's a, Jonah? It's a, it's a three brother garden. <laughs> All right, let's do the blueberries. Look, Jonah, raspberries. 
Did you know about this? Sure. Did you know about this? Sure. Let's do. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Blueberry, blueberry. That's the sweetest raspberry I've ever tasted. Look how big. Oh man, I gotta savor that raspberry. Holy smokes. We gotta give one to your mom. Oh, there's two over there. Wait, let's taste this blueberry. Mmm. Oh my. Mm. Oh my. This is why we do what we do. Didn't want to get up this morning. It's a grind. But then that makes it all worth it right there. <laughs> this makes it worth it. This makes it worth it. Mmm. I know where I'm getting my morning snack for the next month. Get mama some blueberries and some raspberries. Get her a whole bunch, give her those blueberries, okay? What is this? Oh wow. Raspberries, blueberries, and is it blackberries? It's not, that's a black raspberry. Oh wait till you have that then. Is it good? So good. You gotta take it one at a time. Sweet, isn't it? It's not bitter. Wow. Mmm. Mmm. I almost forgot about you guys. I kind of got caught up and I, I realized these guys got to move, these older chicks. They can move in with the big ladies in the chick shop. Stop wearing this grass down so fast. Let's move them out. Friday nights we like to take it easy. Let's move them out Saturday night. You guys a bunch of happy little birds? You know, I sense in my heart they're not gaining like they were on that fermented food. We're doing an experiment in dry feed versus fermented feed. They don't go as crazy for it. I don't know. It just seems like they should be a little bit bigger at this point. Time will tell. The weigh-in will tell. We have one more thing we need to check on. I switched out with the big camera for the little camera because it's raining. I'll put this in my pocket in between shoots. It's kind of just drizzling. Let's check on the sheep, but I want you guys to know, I want to promote this. Paul Wheaton. You remember we visited him in Montana? This is our steampunk rocket mass heater of science. He's kind of like the mass rocket heater guy. Yeah, well he, and then my friend Dan, remember Dan out in Idaho, the permaculture shepherd? <laughs> well, they've worked together and a number of other people and it's a community effort. They've come up with a do-it-yourself fired oven. So it's like eco-friendly, fire-baked pizza and other stuff can be so delicious. Now they're coming out with an instructional documentary. That's on Kickstarter right now. Check that out if that's something you'd be interested in. I'll leave that info down in the show notes. This is where the sheep were. This is where the sheep are going. They're keeping up with us for sure. So we got a, it's one, two, there's five, seven. It's seven days up this one straight strand of electric wire and then seven days back that's a two week break from in the yard and then about two weeks through the yard. So we're giving the area about each, we're giving each paddock about a 30 day rest. So we'll see how that does for their grazing job to see if that helps them graze more evenly. That does it for the update video. Hi, I'm Paul Wheaton and this is my seventh Kickstarter about permaculture stuff. This Kickstarter is for people that like pizza, cake, cookies, spaghetti flavored cake, bread, muffins, turkey, pie, or anything baked in an oven. People concerned about the environment are trying to find ways to dramatically reduce their use of electricity or natural gas and taking a long, hard look at cooking. For folks keen on zero waste, how about turning your...